will soon face the policy decision of whether to quickly vaccinate or safely vaccinate. I think our biggest difficulty is on the one hand, everyone wants us to be fast. But on the other hand, we have to pay attention to safety. So we have to figure out how to find a balance. Of course, during this process, various countries' experiences, scientific evidence, and pharmaceutical company reports will become very important sources for our policymaking. We still have a short, dangerous period ahead. After people get vaccinated, we may see a wave of epidemic prevention fatigue or excitement. Everyone will feel they're free and very safe, but for the people who have been vaccinated, we don't know the period in which they will have the antibodies and how long they can maintain the antibodies. So that's why I said we need to observe the period when people are getting vaccinated and the period after that, because I think we may see a post-vaccination epidemic wave. We have to pay attention to how we can prevent cases from spreading even after people get vaccinated. I think many country scientists probably have the same views as I do, but the problem is the people might not. They might think, wow, I've been locked down for so long, I've finally gotten the vaccine, I can relax and have fun. Whether this will lead to a new danger is something we should monitor. So we can't afford to let down our guard. Since I announced in early June that we can have a new way of life while we prevent the epidemic, I've all along placed great importance on personal protection in addition to securing the borders. The face mask policy has proven we're correct. So it's not just that we haven't had many locally transmitted cases of COVID-19. More importantly, our flu cases have become very low. Of course, wearing a face mask is very effective, and personal protection is very effective. At least you can protect yourself, and by doing so, you're making a contribution to society. It's something that benefits others and yourself. You should wear it whenever you can. When everyone puts up a separation barrier, and with multiple layers of segmentation, then we build up a very strong protection for our community. Washing hands and sanitizing our environment reduced our number of stomach flu cases by 90 percent last year. Each year after the summer break when school begins again, the number of stomach flu cases shoots up and 1,000 classes in kindergarten would be suspended because of fear of the virus is spreading. But last year we didn't have to cancel a single class. Pediatric departments at hospitals don't have any patients. Okay, I'm kidding. But of course, they have more important matters to deal with.